what's going on guys welcome back to another video um today's video is gonna be a very very short video because um i've had a lot on my mind recently i've had a lot of different things um i don't want to say come up in my life but a lot of things um i've been really thinking about recently and um as you guys would have read in the title um i think fathers are very important we have father's day coming up soon june 19th and um i i think that a lot of men are not being appreciated for at least a lot of the good men are not being appreciated for the things that they're doing and they're and things are happening where a lot of men you know as i said they're not feeling appreciated and they're not being highlighted for being good men good fathers good people around and it i think it's important that we we analyze and focus on these good men and we we kind of give these men their flowers because you know we're we are at a lack of good men in society and i want especially like don't please don't kick off this video yeah i, I just want to like really i want you guys to really listen to what i'm saying because majority of my channel is younger guys you know younger maybe maybe 14 to 25 year old guys and i need you guys to understand certain things some of you might have children already some of you might have um responsibilities and stuff but part of what it is at least for me being a man is you accept and responsibility of what you have and even if you don't want to do stuff you still continue to do and fight for it especially if it's your family involved you know um getting stuff done is the mass is a masculine thing in in general and i need more men and I, I think that more men should be of that same mentality that no matter what happens, I'm going to get stuff done, you know, and it's really and as most of you guys are going through puberty at this time and and with with puberty, you guys are going to start seeing the opposite set, seeing women, seeing whatever you like, maybe you like other guys, etc. You're going to start seeing um these these things as being very very attractive and i i you you're gonna you're gonna look out see another person maybe as beautiful person around there let's let's more or less focus on the guys who are who are um heterosexual so the guys who like women who like girls etc um you guys you guys are gonna start seeing the opposite gender as you know being attractive you're gonna start liking this person or liking that person and i need you guys to understand something as a man in today's world is there's if you mess up it's very very hard to get back on your feet it is extremely hard to get back on your feet as a man and i want you guys to not make any mistakes or, or make as minimal mistakes as you can the first thing that i think you guys should do is find you a good mentor find you a good father figure find you a good man that you can emulate your life off of for me personally I would have seen Steve from a long, from very young when it was what fifteen. I would have been watching Steve's videos, etc. And I saw his life, and I saw the kind of things that he was doing. And I and I decided, you know, I, I I want to be like that. And then I looked at guys like The Rock. You know, these guys who work very, very, very hard to get what they they want to get. You know, The Rock started in WWE, worked his way all the way up till he can move on to the movie set. I know he's aspiring. It, He's inspiring millions of people all across the globe to follow through with their stuff, put in the hard work, put in different things. And I, I won't say the rest of my mentors. I have a couple in Barbados that you guys wouldn't know about, but there were these guys really showed me what it was to be a man, you know, and you guys are important to in, in, in making sure that our society stays disciplined, it's our society stays civilized and peaceful. Men are yes, we are the more violent of the um of physically violent of the two sexes, but we are also it's because of that threat of violence is what we is how we stay peaceful, you know, because we know that when a large band of men get together, they can mess some stuff up and they can do stuff together and they can they can make things hard for you know society to go on and it's the threat of that violence that leads to us being so peaceful and being and talking each other talking stuff down you know and that is why when that is why when stuff starts to go sideways you know men just 
they they it, it's it's important for us to try to avoid the conflict you know and this is something that a lot of fathers should teach their young boys when they're young you know understanding that you you don't have the same privileges as a woman a lot of women are not going to be are not going to be held accountable for some of the stuff that they've been doing especially for example if your girl is hitting you you're not supposed to hit your girl and i do stand by that you're not supposed to hit your girl uh, even no matter what she does if she breaks your stuff she punches you etc the biggest thing as a man that you can do is having the power to walk away walking away is the most powerful thing that you can do as a man you have to be willing to do that whether you don't like a deal whether you don't like what she's doing if you set these ground rules and you set these boundaries you need to let her know and stay by that and no matter what she does stay by that be able to walk away because as i said this world is unforgiving for guys it's unforgiving for people like me and you and i think that us that that the fathers are supposed to be teaching their young boys this every single one of you guys are going to go through a point where you realize these sort of things that i'm saying today and um you're going to either get your heart broken you're going to get disappointed you're going to get all sorts of stuff it's not easy out here but i want you guys to be prepared i want you guys to understand that um this as i said this world is not forgiving for us you know it's hard you guys have been seeing me grinding 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 hard 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 just keep continuously going this entire week this entire month to try and see if i can reach all my goals and my dreams and it's not easy y'all it's not easy to stay focused it's not easy to stay mentally fit it's not easy to go out here and continuously work hard you guys see me in the gym on my instagram follow me on my instagram by the way i post a lot of stuff on there you see me on my instagram and you see me doing all this stuff bro this shit ain't easy bro like for real this stuff this stuff gets really really hard from time to time and it, it starts to really get on your mentality if you don't have a strong mind years ago i was in such a horrible state in my mind that it was it was it was painful to even sleep at night and i don't want more and more men to go through that because not many men are gonna react the same way that i did and go go for it that's why a lot of the uh self-deletion rates are high in terms of men that's why all of the 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 different the mental illness stats are high when it comes to men and i think this is very very important we need a lot of men around and unfortunately the generation of, uh, before us did not have a good a lot of great you know men great fathers great people around so it's up to us in our generation to train to train the next generation how to be proper men how to be the ones out here who are going to keep society flowing keep society stable we are the ones who build society and we can maintain it and we need to continue with that role and stop observing ourselves the first thing i think you guys should do is focus on your goals and put your goals as number one priority no matter what you want to do whether you want to be a doctor when you want to be a youtuber whenever you want to be a plumber it doesn't matter what it is you go out there and you get that goal done you put that as your number one priority once you get that as your number one priority your money is going to come your finances is going to come make smart spending decisions don't spend and splurge your money whenever you get a raise on on meaningless things for me personally i have i have i think i've planned out how, how much money i spent on my pc and spent on this setup well in fin the last couple of years or last two years of me getting this because i'm at the point where now where i can continuously move forward with my life i'm a little bit behind and that's due to stuff out of my control but it doesn't matter i got my stuff done and i and i i suck it up and i continued with it you feel me so that's the second thing your your goals your first once you get your goals down your finances come second once you get your finances you get things and you put things in place to help you make money and today is not no no it is not the if you want to be a very rich and successful person um you can be successful being a person doing a nine to five job or eight thirty to four thirty job there's nothing absolutely nothing wrong with having these normal jobs even blue collar jobs where you're just a plumber or or a carpenter etc these jobs are extremely necessary and i think men are good to do that i have guys who are amazing i have friends who are amazing with mechanics 
I have friends who are amazing with working with their hands, building stuff, fixing stuff. And all of these things are extremely important to keep our society going. And I will never, ever look down on these guys because at the end of the day, these guys have a talent. These guys have a skill that I personally don't have. And I know that my friends, um, I know this guy, um, Solly, bro, he, 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 he is very creative with his hands. He's very creative with what he knows. And he can look at a mechanic, uh, a, a mechanism machine and figure stuff out, bro. And like, there's some other guys I know. Another guy, Bucks. You would have seen him in my in my um in my Call of Duty videos. He's playing with me, bro. This man, this man got some auditing skills, bro. He's got some skills in with the like, accounting and the numbers and stuff. And it's all of these things. Once you guys get your goals and you you have your your stuff together, start putting things in place to make to help you with those goals. And even if that means you are not committing to girls. You're not committing to different things because let me tell you, once you start getting yourself together and you become the best version of you of you, you can, you get to pick how many other girls you want. There's an abundance of there's an abundance of beautiful women on this planet. But there's not there's a scarcity of good men. So the more of you guys become good men, the more women you can choose from, because at the end of the day, there are more women on this planet. than There are men. Look up, look it up, look up the stats. So guys, make sure that you, you put your stuff together. You get yourself together. You, you focus on your health. Get in the gym. Get your stuff done. Let's start from the beginning, actually. You get your goals set as your number one priority. When you get your goals set, you start monetizing it. Whether you work at a job, whether you do crypto, you do YouTube, you do whatever you can. Start monetizing your skills, monetize your goals, monetize whatever you need to do. Once you've done that, control your money, control what you spend on. This is a long game. We guys, we don't, we don't do the short game. We do the long game. The long game is that in 30, 40 years, you want to be retiring from whatever you're doing and be able to live out your life and raise a family and do what you got to do. And then once you have done all of that, then after you have created this person of yourself, you, you work on your appearance, you work on how you speak, you work on how you present yourself. You go out there, put yourself in certain social situations and you talk to people, you make friends, you make connections. Because in this world, it's not, it's not what you know only, it is who you know as well. You have to be talented and you have to be a complete package. So, first thing, goals second thing is your finances the third thing is you making sure that you're that you monetize and everything you sorry not monetize that's the second thing the third thing is you making sure that you are a complete package you focus on your appearance you focus on your speech you focus on your networking all of that kind of stuff and then you guys can worry about you know fully dating and fully committing you guys can even well these years when you're doing stuff you can talk to women you can date you can do what you need to do but at the end of the day, don't fully commit unless you found that girl who's going to support you throughout. Don't be fooled by some of the stuff that some people have been saying because a lot of the stuff that our parents told us about dating, about girls and courtship doesn't work, bro. It doesn't work in today's climate. So, guys, you need to start becoming the best version of yourself. Get your, get your money up. Get your finances up. Get your get your goals set, get your goals and get everything ready. And even if you don't have a goal, even if you don't have a goal, look at something that you're good at. Look at something that you're interested at, interested in and start doing stuff. Start trying things. Get stuff out there. I'm tired of seeing boys and, and uh, young boys and, and young men who don't know how to navigate in life, who doesn't have who don't know how to do certain stuff. And I'm at the, the stage where I can inspire other people to do what they need to do. So for you guys who are still in school, go to school, get your schoolwork done. Do what you got to do on the weekends or evenings. Come home and learn about our world. Watch YouTube, watch other channels, watch a lot of, of different things. Educate yourself. Even if you need to go and find a mentor, have him talk to you about certain things. You shadow him, you watch him, you see, you know, you see what what they do. And then you try to get yourself on that the same level playing field. And I think these kinds of things are important. Um, this video didn't have really of a structure.
but i just wanted to talk about a couple of things let me know if you guys agree with me you guys can hit me up on instagram we can have a conversation about it um especially when i um get my new phone it's coming soon so thank you guys again for all the love and all the support i'm gonna put this um on some dvrp footage or something so but yeah thank you guys again i'll see you guys next time have a great day great week let me know if you agree with me and i'll see you guys next time peace